da 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 Hey guys, it's me. Time for another episode with me, Jack Detroit. This week, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a review of some podcasts and YouTube channels that I think might be interesting for you to practice your English. So this week, I'm going to go over two podcasts that I recommend because I'm doing this video for Hapa Ekawa and Hapa Buddies. I really shouldn't be recommending June's podcast on this review because that would be a little bit like I'm advertising for him and I'm, and I'm really not. So I'm not going to say anything about the Hapa Eikawa YouTube channel or the Hapa Eikawa podcast. So instead, I'm going to show you a podcast that I would recommend for your listening practice. That is All Ears English. All Ears English is a podcast that's about, well, basically interesting idioms and phrases and expressions often used in English. And the hosts, Lindsay and Michelle, they have an ongoing conversation about all of these phrases and all of these idioms and how we would use them. Now, something you should be aware, they do have services and classes that they would sell that they're trying to offer you. So they do quite a lot of advertising about their courses in the podcast. They are a business and they need to try to support the podcast in some way. And they also have sponsors for their podcast. And that's just kind of like a, a, that's a little bit like a radio commercial. So you just have to, you can skip, skip those if you can. Um, but but I do recommend this podcast because it's it's fun. It's very different from the usual YouTube channels you would find or the podcasts where they they do very dry English grammar or vocabulary lessons. They do something a little interesting and they make it into a kind of a conversation between the two hosts. And, and I really like that part about this podcast. Something else I like about this podcast is the episodes aren't very long and you can find this podcast pretty much everywhere. It's on Spotify, uh, the Apple podcast store, um, player FM, pretty much anywhere you need to go when you want to get your, your podcast, they'll be there. I want to remind you that I'm not here to try to push June's podcast or YouTube channel. Um, I'm actually trying to show something that is outside of the Hapa Ekawa and Hapa Buddies world. A little bit more podcast listening practice, English practice that's a little bit different from what maybe you would normally do on your own. And I thought this information might be helpful. So let me introduce another podcast. This one's fun. It's called Espresso English. Espresso English is great for a number of reasons. It's very conversational, but it's also very organized. It's very structured. It's a little bit like, like a blog, the way that you sometimes see blog headlines are. They have uh, episodes titled learn 10 phrasal verbs or uh, how to learn English fast or homework versus housework, you know, things, things like that. But they actually do go pretty deep into the kind of the small points about English that make interesting, confusing or funny or just a little unusual and might be helpful in terms of building your fluency. This is another one of those podcasts where it's also does, it does a lot to sell a course or lessons to the listeners. So there are a lot of advertisements in each episode. So even though the episodes are very short, a lot of the time is spent on trying to promote a course or promote a service, uh, get them to go to their website and, and uh, purchase something. But the, but the podcasts themselves are actually quite fun. They're very short. And I think that's, it's very useful knowledge and information to, to have. Anyway, that's your homework for now. Bye-bye.